What's up, everybody? It's WealthWise, and look, I'm going to be honest with you. School taught us a lot of things, like the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and the Pythagorean theorem. You know, really useful stuff we use every day. But one thing they didn't teach us, probably the most important thing we need to know as adults, personal finance. In the real world, no one's going to hold your hand and tell you how to manage your money. That's why I'm here to break down the secrets they don't teach you in school so you can win with money. Look, retirement might feel like a lifetime away, especially if you're young. But trust me, the earlier you start planning, the better off you'll be. It's like this. Compound interest is your best friend when it comes to long-term growth. The longer your money has to grow, the more you'll end up with. Even small contributions made consistently over time can make a huge difference. Don't wait until it's too late. Start planning for retirement now and thank me later. All right, let's be real. Saving money is a lot easier when you have more money to save. So how do you increase your income? Side hustles, my friends. The gig economy is booming. Whether it's driving for Uber, freelancing online, or starting a small business, there are tons of ways to make extra cash. And the best part is, you can choose something you're passionate about and make it work for you. Remember, every dollar you earn is another dollar you can put towards your financial goals. Your credit score is like your financial GPA. It's a three-digit number that tells lenders how responsible you are with money. Every financial decision you make, from paying your bills on time to taking out loans, can impact your score. A good credit score opens doors to lower interest rates, better loan terms, and even some job opportunities. So be mindful of your financial choices and make sure you're building a strong credit history from the start. Okay, college is expensive, we all know that. But racking up massive student loan debt isn't the only way to get a degree. Consider alternatives like community college, trade schools, or online programs. These options can be significantly more affordable and still provide valuable skills for the job market. Remember, a college degree is an investment, but it shouldn't cripple your financial future. Explore your options and make a smart choice for your wallet. Look, credit cards can be a valuable tool when used responsibly. They help you build your credit history, earn rewards, and provide a safety net for emergencies. But here's the key. Pay your balance in full and on time every month. Otherwise, you'll get hit with high interest rates that can quickly spiral out of control. Remember, a good credit score is a valuable asset, so use credit wisely and protect it. Compound interest, it's like magic. Seriously, it's the concept of earning interest on your interest. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to compound and grow exponentially. Think of it this way, even small amounts invested consistently over time can turn into a small fortune. Time is your greatest asset, so use it to your advantage and let the power of compounding work its magic. Look, you don't need a fancy finance degree to create a budget. It's really about understanding where your money is going and making conscious choices about how you spend it. Tactical budgeting involves prioritizing your spending based on your values and goals. It's about cutting back on unnecessary expenses and allocating more towards things that truly matter to you. Remember, a budget isn't about restriction, it's about empowerment. Life is unpredictable. Things happen, your car breaks down, you lose your job, unexpected medical expenses pop up. That's where an emergency fund comes in. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses in a separate account. This financial safety net will protect you from going into debt when life throws you a curveball. Remember, it's not a matter of if an emergency will happen, but when. All right, you've heard the advice, save 10% of your income. But let's be real, 10% might not be enough to achieve your financial goals, especially in today's world. Strive to save more, 15%, 20%, or even more if you can. The more you save, the faster you reach your goals, whether it's buying a house, investing, or retiring early. Remember, your future self will thank you. Owning a home is a big decision, one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make. Don't rush into it. Take your time, save for a down payment, and make sure you're financially prepared for the responsibilities of homeownership. Remember, a house is an investment, but it's also a place where you build memories. Make a responsible choice that aligns with your long-term goals. Look, this is just the beginning. There's so much more to learn about personal finance. Keep researching, Keep asking questions and keep growing your knowledge. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make smart financial decisions. Remember, financial independence is within your reach.
Start today and build the future you deserve. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.